What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of this Crystal Palace career mode. Getting down to the real business end of the season now. Um, we've got a game against Roma next in the Europa League. But with the Premier League battle being as tight as it is with us two points clear of United at the top but with them having a game in hand it is going to go right down to the wire so I'm going to make a few rotation changes in this uh, Europa League squad and if we are to get you know are to go on and win this trophy you'd have to credit the fringe players for it so here we go this is the team that will be taking on Roma we're away from home first leg which I think works to our advantage if we can nick an away goal here then when we get back to Selhurst Park you'd say we have to be favourites Mares, Vardy and Niang are going to be the front three. Sergio Mendes, Fellaini and Perez. Not the strongest midfield, but they should do well enough to cope playing as a three in that central position. Grimaldo left back, Dyer, Vestergaard and Bellerin is the rest of the back four. OK, here we go. This is going to be a tough one. Away goals on the agenda. That is the plan. Oh, really nice link-up play here from Roma. Edin Dzeko. Oh, hit both posts. Get the ball away. Good battling from Niang. No free kick, says the referee. I'm going to hit one. Tried to find that near post. Keeper made a bit of a meal of it. Oh, and defenders made a hash of that. Jamie Vardy. He's quick. Normally, once he gets the wrong side of you, you can't catch him. He's on his left side, though. Beats his man again. What a run from Sergio Mendes. Good ball as well for Mares. Will it come down for him this time? Tries a Cruyff turn in the box. Still got possession. Mendes on the edge. Lays it off one more. Hit by Perez. Not far away at all. Good move. Here's De Rossi. Really good ball to find Jovino. Vestergaard, what a challenge that is. And the half-time whistle has gone. Really vital interception from Vestergaard right on the stroke of half-time. Nil-nil so far. So far, Not a great deal of chances created from either side. They've come very, very close with that Edin Dzeko shot on the turn, which hit both posts and rolled along the goal line. Nil-nil, probably fair to say both sides. Neither side deserves to be in front. Chance here for Roma. They're into the area. Needs to be a good challenge. It's a good save in the end from Butland. Ball is still loose. Mahrez scrambles it away. Roma coming forward. Awful challenge from Fellaini. Florenzi out on the wing. Puts the cross in. Need to head that away. Haven't done so, but the header's fine. Jovino nods it wide. So I'm going to make some changes here. We've got just under 20 minutes left. Mahrez is knackered. I'm actually going to bring on Gabi Agbonlahor and Sincraven as well in place of Enzo Perez. I want to try and uh, get something from this game, particularly an away goal. Roma coming forward again, here's Dumbia. Rather he be out there than playing on the shoulder of the last man, but that's a good ball. Can they get the cross in? They can. Butland deals with it, well played. Is there going to be one last attack for either side? No, there isn't. Bit of a bore draw, nil-nil. You get the feeling that that was a game that both sides were, well, a nil-nil was a scoreline that both sides will be happy with. Roma know they can go to Selhurst Park and one away goal puts them at a great advantage in the tie. And we're happy because we've now got home advantage and I feel like we can beat Roma. But both sides very well organised, just determined not to lose the match. And unfortunately, it didn't make for an entertaining game. So we're actually jumping straight into the second leg. We had no Premier League game in between these two ties. But again, we've put out a reserve side. It's Brandt, Long and Vidio, the front three. Mendes, Coquelin is coming back in to shore up that midfield a little bit because De Rossi and Strootman really got the better of us in the first leg. Perez is in there as well. Joel Ward, Vestergaard and Donacian, who we've obviously got on loan from Aston Villa, who's barely played a minute for us this season. He's going to come in and give Bartra and Eric Dyer a rest. Grimaldo as well playing at left back. Butland in goal, of course. Let's see if we can progress through to the last eight. So here we go. Have to make sure we remain tight at the back because one Roma away goal would really put us up against it today. Video, positive start. Good run. Really good run. Referee. He's gone straight through the back of him. Surely a foul. Enzo Perez picks out Sergio Mendes. Turns on his favoured left foot. Going to hit one. Good strike. Good save. Corner ball. Plenty of height in the box. Let's whip it in and see what we can make of this. Good header from Mendes, I think. Hit the keeper. He didn't know much about it. And Roma scramble it away. Roma coming forward here with Emerson. Good ball to find Jovino. Chips it over the top. We've missed the header. Edin Dzeko cuts it back. Real chance for Roma to grab an away goal. But they've wasted it. Daniele De Rossi certainly don't want to be letting him shoot. He sprays it out wide. Roma continues to come forward. Good run from Florenzi. Good hit. Butland. A combination of Butland, actually, and the post. Keep that out. What's he doing there? Oh, my word. Just get the ball away. Dzeko with a really nice pass. Roma are in again. Good ball into the box. Butland gathers it. We're really on the back foot. And the half-time whistle's gone. To be honest, we've been poor. Roma definitely deserve to be in front. We've created nothing 
absolutely nothing. We don't look dangerous at all. They're very solid, very organised at the back. Again, we need to improve in the second half if we're going to progress in this competition. Rome have taken the free kick quickly. Not quite sure why. They didn't have a lot of bodies forward. Joel Ward plays an early ball. Shane Long gets on the end of it. He's still there, battling away on his own. He's done really well. Can he create something more? Shane Long. Oh, what a goal. Superb stuff from Shane Long. A real individual effort. When it was cleared forward by Joel Ward, he was the only one there. Made the run into the channel. Good strength to hold off the first defender and knock him off the ball. Good skill to go around the second and then beat the, the man again. And then what a finish. Right into the top corner, in off the post. No chance whatsoever for the keeper. We're fortunate to be in front. It doesn't really change the tie because one goal from Roma would put them through. But of course, if it stays as it is, we're going into the quarter final. Roma coming forward, looking to get themselves back in this tie. Oh, there's a chance here. He's turned our man into the box. Good shot, good save from Butland. Mendes has won it back in the middle. Here's Shane Long. Mendes continues his run. Can he make it two on his favoured left foot? Mendes! Off oh, the bar, so unlucky. Played over the top. It's a real good ball for Dzeko. Good hit, first time, or well, second time. One touch to bring it down. Knew exactly where the goal was. Good effort, just wide of the mark. Right, we're making changes. We're making changes. Yaya Torre is coming on just for a few minutes. As is Jamie Vardy on the left. As is Mark Bartra at the back. Why not? Fresh legs. Oh, well played, Enzo Perez. Picks out Shane Long. Going to hit one from distance. Oh, my word. What an absolute stunner from Shane Long. One million pounds this cost us. I've just hit it for no reason. One on one with the defender. Probably Chen Long's pacey. He could have gone round him, but I just thought, why not have a crack? You can see Perez does really well here to win the ball back. Just nudges his man off it. Shane Long picks it up. He actually had Jamie Vardy to his left, but wow. Contender for goal of the season for sure. Number 13, unlucky, not for some. What a strike that is. Okay, so Roma throwing pretty much everybody forward. They're leaving one man back for this set piece. Can we head it away? We can. Chance for Shane Long to break and possibly get a hat trick. Not with a pass like that, he can't. Chance for Roma to get himself back in the tie. Shot across goal. Not a danger. Off target. Here we go. Full-time whistle's gone. We are into the last eight. Somehow, very much a game of two halves. Roma dominated the first 45. We uh, got away with it in second. Two good goals. Really good goals from Shane Long, the £1 million man. £1 million well spent. Look at those celebrations here at Selhurst Park. The fans are delighted to be in the last eight. I'm not too sure if I am. Obviously, we're in it, so we want to win it. But, of course, with the Premier League being as close as it is, we could probably do without the extra games. But, hey-ho, let's just try and win as many trophies as we can. So, you can see some of the teams that are still left in it. Manchester United, Schalke, Lyon probably winning that on penalties, I'm guessing. Porto are in there. Benfica have smashed Southampton. We're obviously in there. Monaco, I think that is. And, obviously, Zenit St. Petersburg as well. So, some real, real tough sides. Speaking of the effect it will have on the Premier League, obviously our title rivals Manchester United are still in it as well. So they're going to have to deal with the fixture congestion and the extra games the further they progress. But we'll have a quick look at the Premier League table to see if they've played their game in hand. We were, of course, two points clear last time we had a look. Um, but they still had that extra game to play. They have played it and they have won it because they have leapfrogged us. They've gone top. Eight games left. We're just a point behind. Champions League football is pretty much secure. I ain't even going to worry about that. That would be a real shame if we weren't to win the title from this point on. I don't really care about Champions League football. But eight games left. It's going to go right down to the wire. I know it is. We've still got the far superior goal difference. Down at the bottom, Watford. Good as down. QPR just surviving just. Southampton have dropped down to 19th. And Leicester are in 18th place. They, they'll be wanting to dig their way out. But like I say, top end. I say it every episode. It's the top end of the table that matters. But that will bring this one to a close, guys. It is still in our hands, I think, if we win these last remaining games. Somebody will take points off Manchester United. I am fairly sure of that. But make sure you drop a like on the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, everything like that. Links will be down below. And we'll see you again next time.